Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson. As you may remember, in our previous lesson, we've discussed form letters and memorandum. Let me remind you some of the main points. Identical or nearly identical messages based on a master draft, which are to be sent to more than one person, are referred to as form letters. A memorandum is an official note from one person to another in the same organization. In today's lesson, we are going to see how to prepare a curriculum vitae, how to write covering letters, and how to prepare for an interview. A curriculum vitae, or resume, is a written description of your work experience, educational background, and skills. It should be logical, clear, concise, and simple with sentences including short to the point keywords and statements. An effective curriculum vitae needs to focus the reader's attention on the criteria that they're looking for, highlighting important information that can be accessed and interpreted easily. Preparing a curriculum vitae is a useful skill for job applications. Now let us see how to prepare a curriculum vitae. When preparing a curriculum vitae, the following elements should be given due attention. Put your strongest achievements and qualifications at the top of your resume. Include only relevant job experiences. Read the job description carefully. Write a different resume for each job skill or position. Use an easy to read, eye catching format. Include headings, bold print, and bullet. Proof and double proof your resume. Students, I hope you've got an insight about some of the important elements of a curriculum vitae. Let us continue our discussion on some of the essential contents to be included on your curriculum vitae. 1. Personal details. This includes full name, date of birth, sex, marital status, nationality, and address. 2. Qualifications. Here you need to state your qualifications by starting with the most recent list course level achieved, when it took place, and name of institution. 3. Work experience. Start with the most recent and relevant work experience. List down the companies that you have worked for, the dates that you worked for them. Include your job title and a brief description of your role. 4. Skills. Highlight specific skills, knowledge, or attributes starting with the most impressive and relevant to the particular job application. 5. Achievement. Here you can include things like positions held on committees, charity work, and public speaking competitions. 6. Hobbies and interests. This part should be kept short and include information such as membership and positions of responsibility in sports teams, drama societies, etc. 7. Reference and referees. List people who can talk about how good of a worker you are. Make sure you get their permission before including them on your resume. 
list their names, company name, occupation, and contact details. Students, so far, we have seen some important elements and contents that you need to include in your resume. Now let us see a sample curriculum vitae to help you understand it more. Personal details, qualifications, work experience, skills, achievement, hobbies and interests, reference and referees. Students, now it is time to do an individual activity. Get ready. List down some of the essential contents to be included when you compile your curriculum vitae. Students, did you list some of the essential contents of a curriculum vitae? Good. Let us see them together. The content of a curriculum vitae are personal details, qualifications, work experience, skills, achievements, hobbies and interests, Reference. Students, after you have prepared your resume, you need to write a covering letter. The cover letter is very important since it is a first impression to potential employers. A covering letter should be a clear, comprehensive and concise account providing why you are the best person for the job. In this letter, explain why you are the best candidate for the company and how you can contribute to the company. Students, there are certain steps that you need to follow when writing a cover letter. Now let us see steps of preparing covering letters. Open with a bank. The letter should start with a sentence where you heard about the job. Be clear about your purpose. Your cover letter is the introduction to your resume. You should write a separate letter for each job because each sentence of your cover letter should be specifically relevant to the job at hand. Use your time wisely. Every sentence of the cover letter should give a specific reason for hiring you because you never know which sentence will catch the reader's eye. Format strategically. Bullets work well in a cover letter to highlight your relevant achievements immediately. Tell the reader the next step. A covered letter introduces a resume and the point of the resume is to get an interview. And by saying you are available for an interview. Say it and then say it again. Put your email address and phone number at the top of the letter and on the bottom too. Come back to it. 
You have to proofread the covering letter carefully. Follow up. Mention when you plan to follow up with a phone call, email, or other. Students, let us see an example of a cover letter. This is the heading with the name and contact address. This is the inside address. Here, you address your letter to the relevant person. This is salutation. Dear sir or madam, this is the body of the letter. Don't use more than four paragraphs. Here we have the complimentary closing like sincerely yours. Next comes the name and signature. Enclosure is where copies of academic credentials, curriculum vitae, and references are enclosed. Now it is time for an activity. Try to work the activity individually. Get ready. List down some of the most important steps for preparing a cover letter. Students, did you get the answer? Good. The most important steps for preparing a covering letter include the following. Open with a bank. Be clear about your purpose. Use your time wisely. Format strategically. Tell the reader the next step. Say it and then say it again. Come back to it. Follow up. Students, after sending a curriculum vitae with a covering letter, you should prepare for an interview. An interview is a process of determining whether an applicant is suitable for a position of employment. Job interview is a process in which a potential employee is evaluated by employer for prospective employment in their company, organization, or firm. A job interview follows the following procedures. Typically, it precedes the hiring decision and it is used to evaluate the candidate. The interview is usually preceded by the evaluation of submitted resumes from interested candidates, then selecting a small number of candidates for interviews. Here are some points that would help you for a job interview. Preparation is the first important consideration. Before the interview, you should spend some time for researching the company. This will give you confidence and interest to gather all the available information, how and in what way does the company perform its activities. The next is appearance, which includes looking after health and hygiene, maintain a groomed appearance, dressing appropriately, and good body language. 
Arrival on time is the other important point. You should be aware where the company's address is. You have to double check the company's address and arrive early before the interview's time as much as possible. Follow the following interview guideline. Don't sit until you are offered a chair. Try to make an impression in the first few minutes. Smile, be attractive, and listen carefully. Maintain eye contact when you talk. Don't interrupt over the interview. Students, watch the following short interview between an employer and a job seeker. What kind of trainings or qualifications do you have? I have a BA degree in accounting, which is related to the job that I'm applying for. I don't have experience in this area, but uh, I learn quickly. I'm sure you'd be happy with my work. What interests you about this job? I look forward to working in the field of accounting and putting into practice what I learned. Uh, this will, uh, I, and I'm interested in developing my expertise in accounting. Tell me about yourself. Why should we hire you? I am punctual, uh, dependable, and can be counted upon to finish what I start. Uh, I believe this will enable me to be as uh, efficient as possible. What do you feel are your strengths? I have a lot of initiative. I'm always looking for a better way to do things. I'm efficient and well organized. Have you enjoyed the conversation? I'm sure that you've got some ideas about job interviews. Students, now it is time to do an activity. Get ready for the exercise by creating groups of four students. Discuss some important points on how to prepare yourself for a job interview. Students, did you identify some important points that would help you get ready for a job interview? Good. These include good appearance, advanced preparation, arrival on time, following an interview guideline. Let us wind up our lesson by summarizing the main points. Today, we've learned how to formulate a curriculum vitae, write a covering letter, and how to prepare for a job interview. 
A curriculum vitae, or resume, is a written description of your work experience, educational background, and skills. In covering letters, you should explain why you are the best person for the company and how you can contribute to the company. A job interview typically precedes the hiring decision and is used to evaluate the candidate. Students, in our next lesson, we will discuss about inland transaction. With this, we come to the end of today's lesson. Until next time, thank you teacher, thank you students, goodbye.